You know what? We don't have that to worry about just yet, but as we take a look at those flood warnings, those all initiated by that big storm system that, that brought the blizzard and the heavy snow to our western counties and the rain to the FM area. I-29 flooded through Omaha and Council Bluffs, as you saw, all the way down through the uh, the corridor there of southern Missouri. And then the uh, Mississippi River Valley has numerous flood warnings along it as our rivers are congested, as many areas are seeing a lot of water. Some rain moving through that very area today is exiting, but uh, they certainly don't need any more rain. For us, we are keeping a very close eye on our situation because we have a lot of snow, more than average. So how fast it melts is going to play a key role, but because we have so much snow, it's hard to get warmed up too hot too fast. In fact, we'll likely not see anything above 50 degrees until we get some significant ground showing. Another thing that we're watching, additional precipitation, particularly heavy rain. So if we get a system up here that brings that, that will really accelerate the uh, flood potential. Also, the soil's ability to absorb moisture is there, but right now it's all frosty. So if we can defrost that deep layer of uh, frost in the soil, that should absorb a little bit of our moisture around the valley. And of course, how long or how many days or weeks that river stays at major or moderate flood stage will play a role, leaving us at some risk. Today, late in the day, we had some low clouds move in, some fog across the valley as well. Not much in the way of precipitation here right now. 35 in Grand Forks, 37 Cavalier, 36 in Jamestown, and Bemidji cooling off from near 40 to 33 this hour. So temperatures for many areas still above freezing, and right now at Hector we're still above freezing. Fairly warm with a southwest wind at 14 miles per hour. Here is a look at your hour-by-hour hour forecast. Uh, this bluish haze color you see on here is a fog product that I have turned on, and as we go through the overnight hours, we'll have our wind switch direction from southerly to more northerly, but we'll still have a chance at some areas of patchy dense fog in the morning, particularly on the Minnesota side of the river and the northern valley with temperatures near 30 degrees to start your Wednesday morning. Now, we'll see temperatures start to rise slowly through the day because starting out near 30, we won't jump too quickly. A Little bit of late day sun will have some areas getting very close to 40 degrees for the afternoon. Winds tomorrow, though, northwesterly at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. All in all, it looks like a pretty fair day, but we'll battle some low clouds throughout. North winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour as temperatures slowly climb to 39. All right. Well, somebody's winking at the weather person here, and this deer likes a forecast. Thanks, Donna, for uploading your photograph. Here's a look at the planning forecast. If you like warmer weather, this week is very good. Uh, first day of spring, by the way, tomorrow at 4.58 p.m. 42 on Thursday, a lot more sunshine. Friday, we continue the warming trend and the melting trend, but notice our morning lows, Andrea, are below freezing, and again, that helps with a slow melt. Could melt a little bit faster with some precipitation this weekend, but models are still wavering a little bit on that, so I am not sold at mm -hmm. this point. Pretty good forecast, though. I'm glad you like it. Thanks. <laughs> you bet.